Hey, welcome to Wing Chun for Beginners 1. We're going to show you the first form of Wing Chun called Si Ling Tao, which means little idea or which means basic techniques. So let's get started. All right, so let's get into our starting position. Before we get into the actual Wing Chun stance, we're going to start with our Wu Chi position. All right, so this is the position you get into before any kind of um, martial arts. Most martial arts actually start in the Wu Chi position. So what this does is that it trains you so that when you're in a natural position, you're just standing around on the street or you're just walking down the street, you're not in a fighting position yet. You're just in a natural position. So we're going to start in this natural position. So what it is, is you're going to put your, your feet together. All right, they don't have to be touching. A little bit apart, maybe an inch apart from each other, your feet. Your toes should be pointing slightly in. Okay, your knees are slightly bent. So if you're dropping a little bit, you're dropping just about an inch. All right, if you move up to your uh, waist and your hips, uh, you want to tuck in your tailbone. So if you can feel your tailbone is the last bone on your spine, okay? And uh, it should be, uh, you can feel it. You want to tuck it underneath the legs like that, okay? So tuck it, and what that does is it drops this part of the spine and then it rounds out the lumbar portion of your back. Okay, so from here, you want to pull the tip of your nose and the tip of your chin back towards the back of your head so that it strings out the upper part of your spine and your neck. Okay, a common problem with a lot of people that use their cell phones a lot, they're gonna do this with their hair, they're working on the computer, they slouch, and this happens to their posture. Okay, I'm exaggerating, but you can see a lot of people have this problem. So what you want to do is practice to pull the tip of your nose and your chin towards the back of your head. And now that lengthens and straightens out this part of your spine. All right. The next part is to pull um, the top of your head up towards the sky. So imagine there's a string that's hanging your head from the sky. Okay. So you have your chin and your nose tucked in and pulled in. Now you want to lengthen it even ever so slightly. Imagine your whole body is hanging and suspending from this string. All right. Now you want to also drop your shoulders, relax your elbows and your fingers and your hands. All right, so from the front, let's start over. Feet together, toes pointing a little bit slightly in, not too much. Then you want to drop it a little bit, your knees. Then you want to tuck in your tailbone, all right, suck in your gut, and then pull in your tip of your nose and your chin, and then suspend from a string from the sky. So once you drop a little bit more, you feel that your whole body is just suspending from the sky. Okay? Uh, and then your arms are relaxed beside your body. Your eyes should be looking to, into the distance, a little bit slightly down, and into the infinite distance. Your, um, your focus should be relaxed, and your eyelids should be slightly relaxed and slightly closed. Okay? And also, your tongue should be touching the roof of your mouth right behind your teeth. That's why you want to place your tongue. Okay, so just relax in this position and this is your starting Wu Chi position. Okay, so from the Wu Chi position, we're going to go into our Yi Ji Kim Yong La, which is the um, translated the number two, squeezing or clenching the lamb. Okay, so it sounds funny, but what it is is the number two in Chinese, which is a um, basically like this, okay, so your feet are doing that, if you look this way, and you're imagining that you're actually squeezing a sheep between your legs, so the pressure and the uh, intention is to have, uh, is to um, tighten your muscles, engage your muscles on the inside of your leg. Okay, so um, that's the explanation, so let's show you how to do it. So from your wushu position, we're going to drop even more and bring our fist to our chest. All right, so starting here, we're going to drop about an inch more, okay? And then you want to bring your fist to your chest. Now, when you bring your fist to your chest, try to get your fist to be flush against the front of your chest, okay? You don't want to be out here. You're going to try to pull back pretty much close to the front, uh, the front of your chest and make them flush, okay? Your elbows, you want to pull them down and back, okay? Make sure you don't pull it up like that. That will just cause way too much tension in your uh, shoulders and it's really bad posture. So you want to pull your uh, elbows down and back. 
and try to lengthen the muscles here while you're still keeping the wuji position with your neck and your head. Okay? So, once again, from the side, you're going to drop about another inch. Alright, pull that fist up and keeping the rest of the structure from the Wu Chi. Remembering that you want to pull, uh, tuck in your chin and your nose towards the back of your head and suspend from, uh, suspend from the ceiling. Okay, when you form fists, just so you know, is that you're going to close the fingers, the four fingers, and then tuck in your thumb behind the first index finger. Okay, so like this, close your four fingers, then tuck your thumb underneath your, uh, your index finger. Okay, so that's how you do it. So drop, and then like this. Okay, next we're going to open our feet stance. So we're going to pivot our heels and open up our toes 45 degrees. Next we're going to pivot on the top balls of our feet and open our heels about 30 degrees. Okay, so remember from here, open toes 45 degrees and then open the heels about 30 degrees. I say 30 degrees because 45 degrees is, is too much. Okay, that puts too much stress on your ankles. And if it's less than that, let's say it's like this, then it might be too little and you don't get the, um, the engagement of the muscles on the inside of the legs. So what I like to do is about 30 degrees, now you get to engage these muscles inside your legs, on the inside of your legs, and your ankles are not in a bad position. Okay, so I encourage you to experiment to see what position is the most comfortable for you. Okay, but definitely you don't want to have them point straight forward or outward, definitely want outwards like this. Okay, so they definitely have to be pointing inwards. Okay, so from here we're going to set our um, center line. We're going to do a double cross block downwards. Okay, if you're wondering how the hands should be, so your hands should be like this, fingers together, and your thumb should be tucked. Never have your thumbs out like this. Um, it's dangerous when you do a palm strike, and let's say you miss, you can easily break your thumb. So we're going to tuck in our thumbs like that. Okay, cross block like this. Uh, your wrist should be um, overlapping like that. Okay, and you want to, from here, you want to flip it up to here. Okay, and that means that your uh, fingers are around your nose level. Okay, so from here, your arm should be slightly bent, not completely extended like this. So slightly bent, and then flip it up. From the side, if you look at it, um, you want to have a distance of about a fist or a fist and a half between the elbow and the body. And then when you flip it up, that's what it looks like. Okay, that should be height. Okay, so from here, we're going to pull it back to our body. So. If you look from the front again, from here, down, up, and back to our chest. Okay, so why do we do this? This sets the center line of our fighting box. Okay, so if I do this, the wrist is moving up and down the center line of the upper body. And your hands and your fingertips are outlining the outer edge of the box. So just imagine there's a box, this will help you to visualize how big the box is. Okay, so from here, we're going to pull it back. Alright, so after we set our center line, we're going to do our straight punches. So start with our left fist, we're going to move it towards the center of our chest. And as you move it, we're going to slide it across our chest, and now we have our knuckles pointed towards the target. Okay, so don't have your knuckles pointed to the side, or down, or up, or whatever. So you want to put your knuckles directly towards your target, which is right ahead of you. Okay, now punch it up. It's going to be a vertical punch, which means your knuckles are in the vertical uh, configuration. And it's called Yati Songfun in Chinese because this is actually the same shape as the Chinese character Yat, which means the sun. Okay, so now we're going to open up. It's a Tang Sao. Just relax and have your palm facing up, your fingers pointing this way, and do a Hun Sao, circle hand. All right, circle hand, we go and point our fingers up to uh, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock and then close our fist, and then pull it back, okay? We do the same with the right hand, bring and slide our fist towards the center of our chest, right in front of our, our sternum here. Knuckles are pointed this way, we're gonna punch it out, 
right vertical punch, open it up to a circle, and then sao fit. All right, so the next movement is tang sao. We're going to open our left hand as a palm like this, and we're going to move it slowly to this position. This is tang sao. So your fingers should be pointing straight ahead of you. They should not be on an angle, okay? And your palm should be completely flat, pointing upwards, okay? And your elbow should be about a fist to a fist and a half distance from your body. Right, so how we get from this point to this point is very important. We want to emphasize on dropping our shoulders and engaging our elbows when we do this. Okay, so how, what helps is to slide the side of your arm across your body slowly and get your elbow nice and tucked uh, and, and uh, tucked in towards the center. Okay, and you want to um, engage your uh, lat muscles here. Okay, that's where you get the power. Okay, so from here we're going to do a Hyun Sao, circle hand again to this position. Okay, so from Tan Sao we do Hyun Sao. So we can go clockwise up to 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, get to Wu Sao. Okay, so when we get to Wu Sao, um, our palm is facing that way and your finger is pointing out. Okay, so your um, pressure or your intention is to push out this part edge of your hand. Okay. When we do Hun Sao to Wu Sao, notice that my elbow points out slightly. And that's just engaging that structure of, the, uh, of this Wu Sao. Now we're going to move it back to your chest, slowly, straight to your sternum, until it's touch, touching slightly. Then we're going to relax it. Okay, so relax the whole arm. Okay, so you've moved this around, it's completely relaxed. Okay, relax, imagine it's resting on something. Okay, so this is completely relaxed. Okay, your wrist should still be in the middle. Make sure your wrist is not here. It's still in the middle of your center line. Now we're going to move it out just like the first time. Make sure your elbow is nice and tucked in. Shoulders down. Out to about uh, this distance, same as before. And then you do another hin sao. Now you bu sao. Move it back. Slowly to your sternum. Drop it, relax, move it up, Fox out again. Just a second time. Hyun Sao, Wu Sao, move it back. Okay, and the third time, relax. And then push it out to about here. So remember, only this distance, you don't want too hard, I mean too far, and you don't want too close. So just about a fist to a fist and a half, depending on how much uh, uh, meat you have here. So then we're going to do Wu Sao again, come back after the third time. Okay, so after the third time, you come back to here. You want to slide your palm across your chest and out towards the edge of your shoulder. Once you got that, move back to the center and your palm should be facing this way. And now you want to do a uh, vertical palm strike, Jing Zhe in Chinese. Then flip it over into Tan Sao again. And then do it yourself and self you or withdraw your fist. Alright, so that's the first set on the left hand. Now we're gonna repeat that on our right hand. So open up your hand as a palm, and sit tan self, slide your slide your elbow or the side of your arm across your across your ribs here. Okay, out to here. Palm should be about your sternum level. Your sternum is right where your lower rib cage meets in the middle. Right, Hyun Sao, Wu Sao, you pull, pull it back, Fox Sao, relax everything, push it out, engage your elbow, and drop your shoulders, out to here, Wu Sao again, Fox, I mean, Hyun Sao and then Wu Sao, back to your chest, Fox Sao, mm -hmm. that's the second time, and then the third time, Hyun Sao, and Wu Sao. Okay, once you're here, slide it across your chest to the edge of your shoulders. Now bring it back to the center, palms facing this way, and do a jing zhe right into the nose or the chin. Do the uh, tang sao, yun sao, and sao Alright, so that's the first section. So we'll see you in the next section.